time is it? You know what time it is? It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just what is that? Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. It's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this series review started. Tomorrow on the Netflix, the series drops The Sweet Tooth. And then it's based off like a, a DC comic, which they do in all the comics. And But I'm going to tell you, this one is like a fresh, a breath of fresh air. I enjoyed it. I think it's great, kind of a wholesome one nowadays for like the kids. Because you know what, the, the Jupiter's right, the boys and all those. Those are a little too much. Those are a little invincible. Those are too much. But this one right here, I think is great for the kids. Let me tell you a little bit about what this series is about. So in this series, Sweet Tooth, like a virus. Does that ring a bell? A virus has swept the land, killing like a whole bunch of people, at least half the people that's inhabited. But at the same time this is happening with this virus, like these hybrid animal human babies, all the babies being born are these hybrid animal human babies. And they, they're they trying to figure out what came first, like the chicken or egg. Was it the virus that came and, and created maybe these hybrid animal human babies or was it the other way around? Well, they don't know. But anyway, let me tell you, Everybody blames the hybrids, these little hybrid human babies. They want to eradicate them and stuff. But then they have people that want to save them. And they have one who they call Sweet Tooth, but his name was Gus. And he's kind of this half human, half deer. He was taken away as a baby in, with this guy. And they kind of lived in this isolation until his what he, it was father figure, but he called him Pooba. And, you know, they lived in isolation until one day... Puba was taken by the virus and he was forced to live there alone and and eventually you know went off on his own and and explored outside the, his isolation met people and it's just the story goes on for like I said this gonna hit a little close to home it does I mean it, it's a series about like a pandemic virus that you know hits the world and and sweeps across all the nations and you know wipes out half of like the civilization I mean it was almost like you would think this series was made because of the pandemic but no it was actually kind of began the adaptation kind of in 2009 you know they started this and and we're finally getting it it was written before the pandemic hit so but it's kind of like perfect timing am I right all right you know all right like I said this Gus who's the little kid who's had a half deer and half human and and ventures off and he befriends this man named Jep who he calls like big man because he's a big guy and and he's kind of like against the hybrids but he befriends him and kind of protects him and says he's gonna help him go find his mother up in Colorado and they kind of form this special bond friendship and I mean first of all the chemistry between those two are, are great I mean you really feel you know a genuine connection right there you feel uh, the heartwarming like you know Jep you feel like he's kind of like the protector and and it feels very genuine on the screen like uh, I would I would think in real life that they were best friends I would as far as visually speaking like Sweet Tooth is beautiful you know, it's, you know, it's kind of a post-apocalyptic kind of setting, but, you know, they venture off Gus and Jep and, and go and search for the mom in Colorado. But, I mean, you will get beautiful, gorgeous, just landscapes. It's really, you know, something nice to see, especially if you've been stuck in the house for, you know, the past year with the pandemic and everything going back and, and just seeing all these beautiful hills, rolling hills and landscapes is gorgeous. Love the CGI because, I mean, with, with these half human, half hybrid, you know, I want to say creatures, but are they just, I mean, I said half human, half animal creature, hybrids, creatures that, you know, you're gonna they're gonna have to have that look you know J Gus is gonna have to have that deer look he has the antlers and everything and I enjoyed the CGI effects especially he had his little deer ears you know and they would kind of look move to different emotions he was feeling I enjoyed it at times it could look a little cheesy maybe at times it could but overall I thought it it fit in perfectly with the series the story and it didn't look too bad you know some of the CGI even with the little cheesy the most the best thing about this series is the message it delivers I mean you know you can already tell it's about a friendship that forms you know being there make it is not always you know 
have the family around you that you were born with, but you know, making the family that you want, especially in like these hard times, you lean on those, you know, and depend on those and have those there that are for you. And those are the ones that are going to be by your side through thick and thin. And that's kind of what this is about. You know, their bond, Gus and, and Jep's bond and friendship and the other people they come in contact with and help them just out of the goodness of, a, of their heart. I mean, this is, this is one that's a hope for humanity and it just, it makes you feel good. It does. Talk about the stuff that parents need to know for the parents guide before they let their kids watch this. All as right? far as language, it's going to have mild language, although they do have some profanity use. I mean, they, it, but it's not too often. It's not like throughout. I could even, I was even wondering why they didn't just not have any, you know, made it a lower rating. But, you know, they use the S word sometimes, the A-hole word. And then you get like your dams and hells and stuff like that. But I thought overall the language wasn't too and As far as other mature content, I mean, the biggest thing you're going to get is violence. You would think it's a po post-apocalyptic. So, you know, you had this virus going around that's killing people. But also, you know, people clashing, you know, one, once they, when they think they people have the virus they kill it like they you've seen people getting burned to death and, and tied up in their houses just because they got the virus and other people don't want to get it so you're going to see some murders and deaths and 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 fights and and people are trying to eradicate these hybrids so there's going to be those kind of tensions there so that's the biggest thing i gonna have to see in this overall i tell y'all i really really enjoyed it i did i really enjoyed it it's based off the comic book so it has that nerdiness but it's just a, a wholesome, feel-good kind of series. I mean, you're going to they have the parts, like I said, that's not going to make you feel too good. But overall, you know, the message it delivers and, and the content, that it's just going to have you kind of, uh, you know, feeling good, feeling good about friendships and humanity. And I, I highly suggest it. That's what it says. Coming on Netflix tomorrow, Friday, June 4th. Don't miss it. I think it's eight episodes, about 40 minutes each. And if you've already seen it or excited to or whatever, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time. Mwah!